And we begin at five with breaking news. As you can see there, live pictures from Sky to a brush fire burning right now in Gorman. Uh, this fire is burning near Highway 138 and Lancaster Road. That's just east of the five freeway. Yeah, the brush fire is now a second alarm, we're told, has already burned about 100 acres. We're also told that one home is threatened. This is east of Quail Lake. We've seen several fire trucks arrive in the last few minutes, and water drops are currently underway as well. And Pat, we understand that this is just one home is threatened. We understand that that's just the only structure in that area, we've been told. Yeah, and that is at uh, this time. We want to talk to Amber Lee now to bring her in because of the temperatures. We know it's very hot today. Not sure about the winds, but she can answer those questions for us. Amber? Hi, Pat. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm looking at conditions. It is warm, dry, breezy. We have elevated fire danger in this area. 87 degrees. The humidity is rather low. Dew points about 34 and humidity, uh, relative humidity about 15%. So kind of gives you an idea just how dry it is. We do have breezy conditions. Winds coming in from the southeast. We have a little bit more of that sea breeze as we head into the overnight hours. Right now, wind speeds about 16 miles per hour. From now through Thursday, we'll continue the elevated fire danger because because we just don't have any rain in the forecast. In fact, we're actually expecting temperatures to get even hotter as we head into the second half of the week. Some of the driest air will be situated over the mountains and also over our high desert communities uh, during this time for the second half of the week. So each and every day, this is what we're going to see develop as the high pressure system begins to move in. Today's kind of that transition day where we still have some cooler air with high pressure starting to build in. So you could see it is still very dry outside, but the good news is by the time we head into overnight hours, we should start to see a little bit more of that marine influence pushing in. So that should help fire crews. But you can see right now that's not really doing um, anything to help them at the moment. But we are still dealing with more of that sea breeze pushing in from the southeast. So hopefully that helps just a little bit. Amber, thank you. Of course, we see that uh, open flame here. And Pat, I, I got to think that they're getting to handle on a little bit because you see a lot of white smoke. We know that the water drops have begun. This is going to be called the Ridge Fire now, burning in Gorman, LA County, 100 acres. And look at that. You talk about the white smoke, but you know what? I'm also I'm looking at all that greenery. Those yeah. uh, those trees look pretty lush. Lots of fuel. Yeah, and from what we understand, however, there is only one home that appears to uh, be threatened, and really one in that particular area right now. So if there's any good news to this, there it is that. And as Amber said, as the evening hours approach, we expect the the temperatures to get a lot cooler, and of course the. Uh, firefighters getting the support and the help that they need. I believe there's a chopper and water dropping helicopter yeah. there. Yes, there is. Um, right now, not, not sure about any other air support, but we know there are fire crews on the ground as well, tackling this as best they can. And I don't know, but to the left there, the upper part of the screen, once this comes into view, that might be the home that is threatened. You see that little uh, bit of uh, property right there to the left underneath our Sky 2 logo. That might be the home that is threatened. I'm not for sure, but you see also just down there at the bottom, we're going to key in here on this water drop that may happen. Yeah, this is going to be the chopper. brush fire. Let's see if we can, uh, we might be able to see them make a drop. We see a number of fire engines on the ground there. This is going to be the, the chopper. could be, there it goes. Okay, boy, that's pretty precise there.